Hello everyone, today in this video we are going to learn how to find simple interest when the time period is given in days. You can check out my simple interest playlist to find out other videos about simple interest in which I have already uploaded videos on quarterly rate of interest, half yearly rate of interest and, and many more. Today let's find the simple interest when the time period is given in days. So we all know that the formula for simple interest is simple interest is equal to principal times rate of interest times time divided by 100 and this rate of interest is per year and time is also in years. We have been given principal amount as 5000 rupees, rate of interest as 9% per year and time is given in days for finding the simple interest we need to convert this time period which is given in days in terms of year so we all know that one year is equal to 365 days so our time period in years will become time period in years will be equal to 146 divided by 365 years so this is the time period in terms of year whenever there is time period given in terms of days we need to just divide it by the number of days in a year which is 365 days so time period will become time divided by 365 this is time in days divided by 365 days. So this is the change we need to do before putting the values in the formula for finding the simple interest when time is given in days. Now let's put the values in the formula and find the simple interest. So simple interest is equal to principal is 5000 rupees times rate of interest is 9% and time period is 146 divided by 365 and this 100 is there in the formula so 100 times 365 so let us solve this so now we got this as simple interest now let us solve it in the next step by simplifying 9 times 146 divided by 100 times 365 so these two zeros gets cancelled by the zeros in the numerator and this is 5 times 10 and 5 times 7 and 5 times 3 and 73 times 2 is 146 so this is 1 time and this is 2 times so now we got 10 times 9 times 2 so our simple interest will become 9 times 10 is 90, 90 times, 90 times 2 is 180 rupees. So our simple interest will become rupees 180. So this is our final answer when the time period is given in days. So let us take one more example to find out simple interest when time period is given in days. This is our second example in which the principal amount is rupees 5000, rate of interest is 5% per year and time period is 292 days. Let us first convert this time period which is given in days to the time period in years. Time period in years will become 292 divided by 365 days. which is equal to 292 divided by 365. Now let us put the value of all these given quantities in the formula which is P times R times T over 100. So our principal amount is 5000 rupees. Rate of interest is 5% per annum and time period is 292 divided by 365 and divided by 100 now let us solve these here 5000 times 5 times 
292 divided by 100 times 365 so these two zeros gets cancelled by these two zeros 5 times 10 and 5 times 7 5 times 3 Now seventy three times one and seventy three times four is two hundred and ninety two. So now we got ten times five times four in the numerator. So simple interest is fifty times four, which is two hundred rupees. So this is our simple interest when the time period is given as two hundred and ninety two days. now you can find the simple interest when the time period is given in days i hope this video is helpful to you if you like the video please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more math videos thanks for watching